Greetings and welcome to this tutorial video about the Stella products. My name is Babak Bahadeen and in this video we'll be delving into an exciting new feature designed to simplify the process of creating templates for importing files. I will demonstrate this new feature using a straightforward uh, product development simulation. It can be applied to any other model that you may be working on. In this particular model, as you can observe, parameters and variables are arrayed according to uh, product types and regions. If you have data for initial adopters that you wish to import, you might face two challenges. First, you might not be certain about the required data format. Second, even if you do know the format, it can be quite time-consuming to manually create a file in that specific structure, particularly when dealing with larger numbers of elements for each dimension. In previous versions of Estella, the process involved navigating to the model menu and selecting import data. By clicking on make template, you would receive a template encompassing all variables within the model. It's important to know that you had to manually create a CSV file and then select it for import. So I've already done that and if I check this to be horizontal, because I like it that way, and list all array elements individually, I click on it, you can see that the import template generation executed without issue. Now let's look at the generated file. As you can see, the template created rows for all variables, while we only need the rows for initial adopters. Therefore, you have to take the extra step for removing any variables from the import file that were not necessary each time you perform this process. We have introduced some improvements to this process. Now you no longer need to pre-create the CSP file manually as the software generates a file in the same directory as your model. Furthermore, you have the flexibility to select only the specific parameters or variables you intend to import eliminating the need to deal with unnecessary ones. So first I select initial adopters, I go to model, import data, make template. As you can see, the file is already there. I will change it to initial adopters and then horizontal, no graphicals, list all array elements individually only create templates for selected variables and we had all we have already selected the variable in the model now you can see that we have the right format for the data and all i need to do is to replace these numbers with my uh, actual data now i replace the data with the original data that i had i save the file i will go to the model model menu import data I will browse that CSV file and it's controlled variables imported without any issue and you can see that the icon has changed because the data has been imported and if I run the model you will see that the behavior is somehow changed based on the new data imported in the past templates could only be generated for controlled parameters the same as the example I provided earlier. But now you have the flexibility to create templates for both controlled parameters and time varying variables as well. Let's consider a practical scenario for this model. Assume we have monthly customer data that needs to be imported. As you can see, the data isn't formatted correctly and the time steps do not align with the model's time steps. Therefore, we want to create a template that addresses these specific requirements. Now I have created a new converter. I called it customer data. It's not a number. I'm going to import those numbers. It's important when we're dealing with time varying variables, we run the model first. Then I have to select this variable because that's the variable I'm going to import. I go to model menu, import data, make template. As you can see, the file already existed, rows, list or only create for those selected variables and this time I want a time varying template so I say okay now I'm going to check my file and now as you can see I have a template for this time varying 
variable in my model with right format. But the problem is my data only contains monthly data and I don't have data for these uh, columns. Now I can go back to the model and instead of choosing to save intervals for every DT, I will do that for every month. And then again, I run the model. I select this converter. Same process. I will choose the right file. And as you can see now, the data is formatted the way I want it. Now all I need to do is to copy this data into this template. After that, I will go to the model, import data, I will add a new data source. This one is, as you remember, initial adopters were controlled variables. However, this one is supposed to be time varying. So I will find the file. I will see if it works correctly. Yes. Now, if I go back to the model, I change the, this graph. And if I run, you will see that data is imported. And this is for all regions and also all products.